my God, 100,000 subscribers. Like, this is just crazy. Now, I started this channel probably two and a bit years ago, and recently we just passed 11 million views on the channel, and now this week, 100,000 subscribers. So, I have to celebrate and thank you guys. So, what I've done is got a bunch of prizes, and what I'm gonna do is do a giveaway per day for a week straight. So what we got, we've got a steady light bar, we've got a BCDC charger, a massive merch pack from uh, Harrop Engineering, as well as one of their diff breather kits, $800 gift voucher from Superior Engineering, a set of tires from Black Bear, or a voucher towards a set of tires, I think it's 800 bucks as well. From Bendix, we've got a brake upgrade kit from Super Cheap Auto, there'll be a Tool Pro tool kit. So all of that together, is over $5,000 in value and we'll be announcing the winner of the competition every day this week until all the prizes are gone. And now to enter, all you gotta do is drop your name down below and let me know how long you've been subscribed to the channel. When did you first start watching Built Not Bought? And that will be your entry all week. So all week I'm gonna be picking winners from that list, from the comments below, and uh, the winners will be announced on my Instagram. So that's the easy way for me to do it daily. So check out my Instagram story um, and they'll be announced there. Also, I'm gonna do 10% off store-wide for the week as well on our merchandise on our website, so there'll be a link down below for that, and just a massive celebration. And of course, I did mention this on Instagram, but I gotta have my own celebration, so you know what's about to happen. <laughs> ah, it's not gonna work, it's broken. Oh, that's a shame. It's broken. All right, so obviously I had this big plan to do this four-wheeled burnout thing. Oh, I think it just snapped the input shaft on the gearbox. Yeah, mate, she uh, definitely looks broken to me. That snapped, and that one was about to snap. Talk about a build-up. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad time. <laughs> and I'm meant to be going away in a couple of days for like three days down south, so I guess, woohoo! Celebrate. Now continue with the episode. <laughs> oh God. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel now in this episode it's another Ford Ranger episode these are becoming more and more common I think a lot of you guys just love the Ford Rangers I don't know why anyway we're going to be heading around to Max today I've got a little surprise for him because my friends at Hurricane Fabrication have just released a tailgate door for the Ford Ranger now they've been making these for a while for all sorts of different vehicles the 80 included which uh, I might have to do that little upgrade it looks bloody awesome oh yeah speaking of 80 we're in it right now love and life I swear this thing has like become my daily drive. And to be honest, the fuel economy isn't that much better than the patrol. Who would have guessed? Must be petty life, right? But how can it use so much fuel, yet go so slow? Speaking of slow, let's go zero to 100. Three, two, one, go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! One week later. Come on, go faster! 80, 80! 90! We're going slow, not faster! <laughs> Can't even make it up the hill! Come on! Three days later. Stop the clock! 100. What was my time? It must be about a 4.5 seconds, 0 to 100. It's gotta be. You know what's funny? I'm like flooring it and the people next to me, I'm just going with traffic. They're like, oh yeah, you're just driving up to 100. And I'm like, no, I'm racing! I can't believe how slow this thing is. If there's anyone out there who wants to give me a turbo for this thing, please give me a message. <laughs> it desperately needs it. Let me notice how I've always start these videos in my car. I've got to change it up sometimes. Maybe on the bike next time. Something different. Alrighty, here we are. Now, I don't know what Mac's doing, but he's always doing something in the shed. So hopefully he's here. I wonder if he'll get scared. No, he won't. <laughs> what do you think you're oh. doing? <laughs> hey. Always under a car or something. Uh. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm got a little exhaust like. Oh. Yeah, you and me both. And I was trying to fit this. In. Oh wait, that's for a Ranger. That's for <laughs> <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. I think you're gonna like it. Follow me. Sick. 
So it's pretty oh, you got happy. me an 80 series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're the best, man. Bush basher. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of you when you got your, your drawers and your canopy put on the Ranger. It's yeah. no longer a mall crawler. No, nah, it's just a camper. So I thought we'd go one step further. So Hurricane Fab had just brought out these tailgate doors and they've just made them for Rangers. So this here will go into the back of your door and you'll have storage. Dude, that's a sick idea. Inside the tailgate, because it's just dead space. How cool is that? Yeah. So it's I reckon, flush too. Yeah, super, super sleek. Dude, that's You can make that a chopping board, dinner table. <laughs> oh, it'll be way nicer to sit on than that rib thing yeah, in the back. Yeah, 100%. So I reckon my task today, if you're not using the Ranger, we'll whack this in. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Bloody oath. Let's do it. Let's do it. That'd be sick. Your car's filthy. I know. Always dirty. It's always dirty. It's black. Oh, it's just it a necessity of being black. Where's the C10? It's at the trimmers. Oh. Okay. So you might have seen the C10, obviously, on Max Instagram, which you've been building for, what, like two years, maybe? Yeah, two more? years, a bit over, just over. Yeah. And it's the last 5% you got. Yeah. Interior, Yeah. that's about it, tune. Yeah. Well, stop oh, it on the I'm other day. that's not here. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do skids. And then we'll do skids. Because you can see on the, on the driveway, <laughs> Done a bit of practice here. That was this guy's fault. Was that this one? Dude, this thing's awesome. 1959. 59. And that does not say 83 IOU. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's what below, is it? below you. Below you. Because it's low. Well, it was on a low car, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll let you keep to it and I'll um, chuck this door in. And um, I reckon it'll make your life way easier. Dude, that'll be sick, man. Let's get into it. Froth them. Oh, shit. I feel pretty bad. <laughs> He's got me this present and I, uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, <laughs> getting 35s put on this in about 15 minutes. <laughs> Hang on. Sam? Yeah? Like, Frothen got me a present. Yeah, I'm about to get into it. Yeah, I gotta go. You going where? I'm getting new tires on this. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, we'll just take the tailgate off. <sighs> All right. Well, how about you swing around Monday, mm. come to the Built Not Bought workshop, and we'll do it there. Yeah, oh, Nadia. Oh my God. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this guy. I guess that's what I get for surprising you. You surprise me in return. I'm a busy man. He's a busy I'm man. I'm a super busy man. That's well, just... what's more important, 35s, of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. Go do that. All right. <laughs> oh, f Okay, here we are back at the ranch now. We've finally got the ranch at the Build Not Bought workshop. Now look at this. 35s. Definitely worth it, I'd say. Now being a Monday, unfortunately Mac is working today, but he's left me the Ranger, kindly. Well, he's putting some trust in me there, but we can finally put this storage box in the tailgate. So, let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, I've just got everything laid out that we're gonna need, some basic tools. Obviously, we're gonna be cutting, so I've got a grinder and also some paint is a good idea to sort out any bits of metal that may go rusty. Obviously, drill, need some Torx bits, screwdrivers, spanners, some Loctite, some drill bits. Look, it's really just, a basic setup of tools to get this thing going. So, I reckon we'll hack into it. Obviously, we've got to start by pulling this guard off here. So, we'll take the, the current plastic mount off, get inside there, and then there's actually a template that you lay over the thing, um, mark it out, so you just stencil it, and then we just start basically getting to cutting this thing up. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress on the gate here. So what we actually had to do is, is we had to drill out a whole bunch of these spot welds, these fillet welds that hold the tray in. And then there was pretty much a stencil that you run around the side and then trim it. So we just used um, the grinder and we've just grinded out that middle section. So what I want to do now is just cut out all this ribbing um, and get it nice and flat and flush. Some of this lockage um, for the actual tray lock needs to change as well. So all of these bars come out to make room for that storage box and you actually replace them with cables. So that's the next thing you want to do, is tidy this up, um, file all the edges, get some paint on there, and drop the box in, do a bit of a test fit, and once I'm happy with that, we can start sorting out this linkage, and then the box goes in, screw it down, and job done.
Thank you. We've gone and installed these wires that replace the rods. So what actually happens is the storage box sits on top of them and then we tension these up after the fact. So I've just rested them there for now. Everything's been grinded back um, with a file and painted. So now it's pretty much time to drop the box in um, and start mounting it. So there's a whole lot of little screws and rivets that are supplied to mount the bottom section to the box and then the lid just goes on with a couple of gas struts and some mounts and then we tension up um, these cables here to make sure the lock works. So pretty close and I'm pretty sure Max almost here so I've got to hurry up otherwise we'll get here when it's half done. Speaking of the devil, he's just rocked up from work straight under the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> How was work mate? Work, work was fun actually. I was, we we're pouring water on each other and stuff. So. Oh yeah, getting nice and dirty. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Why are you here? Yeah, I got another surprise for you. Do you? <laughs> yeah. What? I got an intercooler to go in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More surprises. So once we get this tailgate in, Dude. we're gonna rock around to Western Suburbs Mechanical and intercooler upgrade. Sick. <laughs> More toys. How good's that? Yeah, so I'm almost done actually, so there's just a little lid to go on and then come and have a look, yeah, right. check it out. Been slaving away all day on this, but it wasn't too bad the install. So there we go, a bit of space in there. That's cool. What do you reckon you put in there? <laughs> uh, probably recovery gear. Yeah, it would fit nice for that, eh? Look at that. So I've got a cover to go on here and then there's a little bit that goes over that reverse camera and then we are done. So I reckon another sort of 10, 20 minutes, we'll get this thing all finished up. Throw some gear in there just to show you guys what can go in this little cubby holder here. And the top can be used for a bit of a bench because the standard ones all rip the H. Oh, <laughs> bad. So bad. And then uh, either later today or tomorrow, we're gonna duck down to Harrop and uh, more horsepower. Sick. He loves it already. That's good, it's nice and flat. You know what this should be? What? A sticker wall. Oh yeah. Speaking of stickers, I got the first one to go straight on it. So yeah? <laughs> Let me guess, build not board. Oh yeah! <laughs> Done. All right, there we go. Burn or board stick has been installed. Got some gear inside. So um, that's pretty much wrapped up the install for this Hurricane kind of tray insert. They've been doing them a while for like the 80s and stuff, but the range has been so popular, sort of the design one to suit these now. So it's pretty awesome little mod. And that takes us to this week's tech tip. Hi guys, hello and welcome to this week's tech tip. Now we're gonna stay on the topic of Ford Rangers this week with a brand new product from my friends at Harrop Engineering. Now, intercoolers, we all know that they are super critical when it comes to a turbo diesel engine. So, with this upgraded intercooler for the Ford Ranger, it's gonna lower your intake temperatures. You're actually going to get a 20% increase in power and torque when matched with an ECU tune. So why would you want cooler air intake temps on a diesel engine? Now you think about your fuel delivery. What a diesel works with is air and fuel. Now cooler air is denser air. What the fuel pump will do will match the fuel to the amount of air going into the engine. So if you've got cooler air, you're actually getting a more efficient burn and then the engine can pump more diesel in. More diesel, more air means more power. Now you're also gonna lower your EGTs as well, which can be detrimental to four wheel drives, especially diesels and turbo diesels. Now, lowering those EGTs mean there's a cooler burn happening in the cylinder, and then you're not gonna blow through a piston, throw a leg out the bed, or smash a rod through your sump. Same sort of thing. But with something like this, the proof is in the pudding. So let's head down to Western Suburbs Mechanical, chuck the Ranger on the dyno, put this intercooler in and see what the difference is. All right, so behind me, Chris is just strapping up the Ranger on the dyno there. So what we're planning to do is do a pre-run pretty much stock. So we've also changed the rear tires. So taking the big muddies off, which is something I recommended in the last video as well, especially on a roller dyno, but it also means that we can get a full baseline run as the car is stock. And then obviously adding in the intercooler, retune it and we'll look at what the difference is. Now you may also notice since last time I was in here, the room's changed a bit. So the guys here at um, Western Suburbs Mechanical are just about to get a brand new hub dyno set up. And that's actually gonna be a four wheel drive hub dyno as well. So pretty exciting time. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff. But we're gonna spin this thing up, see what it does stock, and then add this intercooler in.
Right. <laughs> yeah, basically that. All right, there we go. So the intercooler has been installed. What we're gonna do now is run it up again. We're doing multiple runs. So what we did the first time is did 10 runs back to back to see that intake temp. We're gonna do another few back to back runs and then we'll get Chris to walk you through essentially what we're looking at here and how those intake temps can help your engine in the future and the potential for power gains as well. Oh, it was easy. About how long did it take? It was about 30 seconds. Super easy install. It took like, yeah, what, what was it? Like 25 seconds on the video there? I'd say 25, yeah. It always looks easy. Nearly at zero to 100 times. <laughs> All right, so what we've essentially done is three different tunes. So initially we did the bass run, which was the standard tune and also the standard intercooler. And then we went through and did the intercooler upgrade and with the standard tune as well. And then we've actually flashed in a tune for the PX3 too. So we can see the differences that it will make um, on the dyno and also with that air intake temps, all that kind of stuff. So over here on the graphs, I mean, we're not here to make a whole lot of power. Like the standard turbos in these ranges are not amazing. so. With the standard tune there, okay, how do we go across? With the stock numbers there, we made, what, 150, 147 horsepower? 147 horsepower. Um, the intercooler, a little bit of an increase, 153, but like we say, it's not, not what it's about for that. Um, but then with the actual tune, we're able to pull 177 horsepower. So roughly, what, 30, 30, 30 horsepower 30, yeah, gain yeah. Across, across the board there. So what we did is we actually simulated, if you're driving on the highway, full throttle, carrying a big load, so maximum load on the engine. So intake temperatures are seeing up to 65 degrees. The boys fitted the, um, the new intercooler, uh, did the same test again. So we had it at full throttle for at 27, 2300 RPM for 30 seconds. And we're seeing an intake temperature of around 30 degrees. So a pretty big drop. Yeah, so that, that, like I said, it's not about the power run, so you're gonna start having issues in a diesel with the turbo when you're putting it under load, especially if you're going up the beach, towing a caravan, up a hill on the highway, 110 kilometers an hour, that's when you're really gonna start getting those EGTs up, which is another thing that we've noticed with the EGT temps. Definitely with the, the cooler air going into the engine, it drops the EGTs down quite a bit, so obviously when you go to tune it, you're going to tip more fuel on it, which is going to bring EGTs up, which means you need to put more boost to cool them down. With the upgraded intercooler, it works so much better because it's cooler air going to the engine, which in turn drops the EGTs down even more, so much yeah. safer for the engine. So when we did truck that flash tune in and made that extra 30 horsepower, um, there was a bit of maintained temperatures there, wasn't there? So it didn't... didn't yeah, so obviously we were running more boost, uh, so from 230 kPa to 255. Uh, we did see a bit of an increase of about eight degrees in intake temperature. And again, that was for 30 seconds, full throttle, full load at, at peak torque sort of thing. So um, that's where the engine's gonna be under its most load. So guys, if you're one of the bajillion people out there, especially in Queensland with a Ford Ranger, definitely consider one of these new intercoolers from Harrop Engineering. They've just released it. Check it out on their website or the link down below. And remember, make sure to support the businesses that support Built Not Bought. Back to the episode. All right, there we go, all you Ranger guys. So we've done that rear tailgate install from Hurricane Fabrication. I'll link it down below if you're interested in one of them and the Harrop intercooler. So this Ranger is becoming one awesome beast. And I think in the woodwork, we're looking at some, sp 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 some suspension work in the future. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you enjoyed. And thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Again, I will see you guys in the next Build Not Board episode. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.